Hello Divine Masculine and welcome to your power message for Sunday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. I'm going to bring in four powerful decks of cards for you today. We're going to bring in the Divine Masculine message tarot to really see what's going on with you. I'm going to bring in a message about the throat chakra from the Twin Flame Ascension Oracle. We're going to bring in the Divine Masculine Distraction Oracle and the Teen Angel Oracle. Now, I'm definitely feeling some throat chakra activation taking place today because there's issues around communication. You know you want to clear the air, you want to sort things out, you know you want to reach out, you know you want to express yourself. But not only that, you know there's people in your life that you need to speak out to. This could be your karmic partner, it could be a family, it could be a boss. It could be speaking up for yourself in a very powerful way, in some other way, connected with what you're doing in your life through, you know, communicating with yourself, speaking your truth, which is part of your mission. So I'm feeling this is, you know, if you are a speaker, maybe you don't like what you're speaking right now, you want to change things. So there's issues around communication and you know you have a need to express yourself and clear the air with the people you care about, the people that matter, the people that you love. And that includes your divine feminine. So there may be some issues around the throat today where you feel croaky or you're coughing or, you know, maybe you're bringing up phlegm because things are being released. So the body will always recognize what's going on with you and show it in a physical way. So what do we need to know today? What's happening with the masculine today? So I'm definitely feeling this kind of preparation energy to move forward. And what may you be doing or distracted by today? It is Sunday after all. You may be busy with other things. What's going on? And I do also sense that some of you are going to be busy with responsibilities, obligations. You know, you may be spending time around people today. And it's making you feel lost. You know, because you know where you belong. You belong with your family. And you're holding things back and repressing things. And it's not very good for your soul. So... You want to clear the air and express yourself. You're saying to your feminine today, I know who you are. Your nurturing power is guiding me home. So wherever you are, whoever you're spending time with, you know your feminine is the one you want to be with because their light and their love and their power is what you're craving today. So you're saying to your feminine, your nurturing power is guiding me home. I know who you are. So feminine's cross-watching. Don't ever think your masculine doesn't know who you are doesn't know how powerful your light is or your love is because they do. They are just releasing things to follow their heart. So masculines, you know, you may be feeling judged right now. You may be feeling judged by your own self because of the way you've been doing things or the way you have or haven't been handling things. But it's time to put your own needs first and do what you want to do. Follow your heart instead of sacrificing your own happiness for other people. And you're realizing this more and more today, especially because of what you're going through. So you're releasing fears about what other people think to finally put your own needs first and follow your heart. Now, you're definitely seeking something new and different. The time is ticking. Tick, tick, tock. Time is ticking away. And you don't want to be wasting any more time doing things that you don't want to do or being around people that don't serve your soul. So you're seeking something new. You may even be seeing things on TikTok that give you inspiration. So the tick, tick, tock is the tick, tick, tock of the clock. But also that you may be aware of things going on on social media that are bringing in power. You know, not everyone's got TikTok, but TikTok does have very short videos that sometimes bring in inspiration, something that makes you think. And that's what I'm connecting with. So today, something is coming into your awareness that's making you think, whether it's something to do with TikTok or social media or something someone says to you or something you overhear, something's going to make you aware that you are craving something new and you're seeking that. And Archangel Shamuel is the angel who helps you to find what you are seeking and he's helping you to find what you're seeking today. And they're also giving me in my mind's eye trick or treat because, you know, we're moving towards the autumn season, the fall, Halloween. So you don't want any tricks in your life. You know, you don't want to trick your family. You don't want to mess people around anymore. You certainly don't want to mess yourself around. You want to bring in those treats. You want to bring in joy and happiness and love. 
And that can also bring up things that you're afraid of or things you're in fear over that needs to be healed. You have this desire right now to nourish yourself and satisfy yourself and bring those things in. And you also want to nourish and satisfy your divine feminine. You know, you want to be the reason they smile instead of the reason they cry. So something's been made, you know, there's something's cooking in the kitchen. Something's happening behind the scenes. Something's coming together. And that's what I'm connecting with here. It's like all the ingredients are being put into the bowl. So you can mix them up and create something wonderful. So you may find today that you're cooking. You know, if you're cooking in the kitchen or if you want to cook, maybe you're thinking, I'm going to do the cooking today or I'm going to cook something up. This is about the need to nourish and satisfy. And also, you know, you've got bodybuilding or modeling. So you're wanting to look good for your family. You know, you're working on your physical appearance right now to feel more confident so you can move forward the right way. Because there's this need for approval coming in from the ego of the physical self. So, you know, when you're in a relationship for a long amount of time, and especially if it's a, the wrong relationship, and they gave me the word long because... For those of you who've been in long relationships, relationships that, you know, just don't serve you anymore, you can lose your sense of self and they give me a block. <clears throat> so again, you know, you can hold yourself back because you're in fear over the way you look or you want to change something about yourself. So you may be working on building up your body right now. The modeling energy is about modeling yourself into a new way of being. So you may be going to the gym, you may be doing exercise, you may be changing your diet, you may be going through a cleanse because you want your feminine to approve of you. You want your feminine to be attracted to you. You want your feminine to look at you and think, wow, he's handsome or she's beautiful. And your feminine already feels that way about you. It's more about you needing to feel confident within yourself. You don't need approval from anyone. All you need to do is feel that sense of self-worth. And sometimes when you spend time with animals, you receive the kind of love you desire because animals are unconditional. They don't want anything from you but love. Yes, they may need food and other things, but they give love to you without you having to ask for it. So when you spend time with pets or maybe you walk your dog or you go on a horse or you know you go and visit animals in some way or you're just in nature... You feel the power of unconditional love. And that may be what you're connecting with today. You're definitely wanting that. You know, people around you today may be wanting things from you. You may have all these duties and responsibilities and obligations that are getting to you. And you just want to give and receive unconditional love. And you know that's what you get from your twin. So being around animals puts you into a sense of peace today. And if you aren't around animals, you may be connecting with your animal spirit guides. You may not be aware of that either, but they are coming to you to bring in peace, to help you to feel more loved and more loving. And choose optimism today. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're going through, try and see the bright side. And that will allow you to reset your energy. So today is a day where you're resetting your energy. August is a time when you're resetting your energy to make the right decisions and make changes. So choose optimism today. And Archangel Uriel, the illuminator of heaven, is helping you to view things in a higher way so you can see a way out of your situation, so you can see the light at the end of the tunnel, so you can understand that better times are ahead. And today you're resetting your energy, getting ready for a new week, a week of change, a week of results, a week where you just may sit down and communicate with your feminine how you feel. A week where you just may sit down with your karmic partner and tell them what's going on or sit down with your boss or make changes or stand up for yourself, speak up for yourself in some way. And I feel that those of you who have a voice, you know, if you are out there speaking your truth into the world and sharing things with others and people are listening to you, maybe they're looking up to you because of your job or your status you know, you could have a following on social media or in some other way. You want to reset your energy so you can express yourself differently. Because I feel you want to change the way you're doing things in your life. You don't want to follow the crowd. You want to be that leader. And you already are a leader in your life. But you may also be being controlled by society or by your boss or by other people. And it's time where you say no more. I'm going to reset my energy and do things my way. I'm going to 
They give me fear around that too because it can be scary to speak up in that way and make changes because, you know, you may be in fear of the repercussions, losing certain things in your life, losing your credit, your status, your, you know, kind of place in society. But it will be worth it because when you speak your truth, you're following your heart and you're doing what you've come here to do. So I feel so many of you are leaders in your own right and it's time to take back your power and speak your truth. And you're resetting your energy today, connecting with that. I feel as well someone watching, maybe you're going into a meeting tomorrow or you're going into a certain thing at work and you need your energy right. So reset your energy, take your time to find the right words at the right time to speak your truth and focus on peace. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.